In uh, my filter bubble, the topic of OER or Open Educational Resources is um, yeah pretty present. So um, there's not OER means so or Open Educational Resources means that you have content that you can use freely and modify and share without all the hassle of uh, of licensing. Is you, you may have to put um, you give credit. But often that is the only thing that you have to do, and otherwise you can do with the content whatever you want to. And uh, there's there are all kinds of strings attached to that um, that thinking, and um, it, it's great in theory, but there are many strings attached to it in practice. Um, yeah, many pitfalls. And uh, there is kind of a conference about that topic. Um, yeah, well, in in general, but it's not really conference, and it, it is, but it's not an a bar camp or an unconference in the classical sense. It's um, so. What is it? So first of all, it is a global meeting, kind of that will run for forty eight hours, nonstop. So you can there will be sessions all over the world, at different times, of course, and uh, yeah, the date is in December 9th to December eleventh, and um, it will be online you don't have to register you don't have to pay anything so it's completely free and uh, there will be all kinds of things related to open edu uh, open educational resources including h5p so um you can have a look at that site it's orcamp.de slash global and um yeah, you can read how that will work. Uh, it would just tell you what I just said. So it's it's free, and there will be sessions. And session doesn't mean only mean uh, that might be interesting. It's not only presenting things. So uh, it could be hands on workshops where you create things. It could be only I have a question that we could discuss. It could be those kind of sessions, um, different things. And uh, if we have a look at the program, which is linked to up here, then we'll notice. A couple of things. So first of all, we'll notice that there are a couple of H5P related talks. So first of all, the first one is how to rocket fuel the uptake, uh, uptake of OER in large organizations and H5P's take on OER, which will be, I think, uh, hosted by Sven uh, the, the, the uh, boss of Jubel himself. I'm not completely sure, but that will be basically um, a session about the upcoming H5P OER hub. So we if we want to see it in action, or if you have any questions that you want to get answered, um, you're welcome to join that. And then I noticed one that was about H5P in mathematics. Um, here it is, teach mathematics with H5P. Um, I don't know that guy, Igor, but uh, he's a math teacher, so he knows his stuff. And there are two more uh, which I offer. Uh, the first one is H5P, the very basics, which uh, you don't need if you joined here, I guess, because it will be really, really starting from the very beginning. So if you just heard uh, H5P, what are those three letters? Uh, I don't know, show me that I'll do. And then later on, I will have H5P consultation hours. So uh, if there are any questions about H5P that I might be able to answer, I will try to answer here. So... First of all, we noticed there are lots of H5P uh, things already. And you also notice there are empty slots. So that is strange for a conference program, isn't it? Because it is an unconference. So if you are at a bar camp in, you know, in an on-site setting, uh, you, you wouldn't even know the program beforehand before you are there or at the, at the site. Um, and you would create it together at, uh, right on time. And here it's kind of a mixture of uh, having that bar camp mode and uh, a conference mode. So um, here it is. Here, 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 we don't have votes here, so um, nobody voted to have those. But everybody, not just you know, um, so everybody who wants to offer a session about something related to open educational resources can do so. So you can suggest to to host a session, and it, as I said, it could be anything. It could be presenting things uh, related to OER. It could be. Um, having discussions, it could be hands-on sessions where you create things, it could be like an ask me anything um, thingy that like I do. And you're welcome to offer uh, something as well. So um, if you have the time, just check what is still free. Um, it seems to be possible to have to, to fill slots with multiple sessions. So we like right at the beginning, for example, we have those three that are competing so somewhat. But if you if you um, 
Uh, yeah, this is ET, by the way. So, like, uh, if you check, okay, there is, I think on Sunday, on the, in the second half, on Sunday. It is Sunday, I guess it's Sunday. There are still many open slots. So if you think, okay, um, I'm free at 7 a.m. CAT, and I could offer something. So um, just go to the OER Camp Global website, register, and offer a session. Uh, we could go back, of course. So it's pretty simple. So up here you have submit session, and you click on it, and you fill out a form, and that is it. And um, if you don't have, I don't know, you you could get the idea, okay, well, I'm a company and I'm offering something and I might just present my stuff. That will work. That will be kicked out. But um, if it's something that feels valuable for um, the OER community, then um, it's welcome. And uh, yeah, you can can uh, do something. 